So here we are, we've come karting for the day. Um, just felt like I need to wake up a little bit before Latvia really, so I wanted to sort of polish up on uh, a bit of driver technique. I know Latvia is not, uh, not tarmac, but it's good to just get up to speed with the cart and try and be smooth. Um, yeah, good to get up to speed again. Um, obviously from driving a van every day to driving an R5 on the weekend, it's it's a big, big shock. So yeah, spend a couple of hours here and uh, see how we get on and hopefully uh, smooth up the driving a little bit so we can find those extra tents in, uh, in Latvia. got one of these you'll understand how much this thing is a lifesaver. The OMP rib protector. Yeah, that'll save you a few ribs. <laughs> tweaks to the cart. Um, woken up a bit now, driving very smooth, so that's what we wanted out of today. So make a few changes. We're using uh, quite old slicks on the rear, so they're giving us a couple of slides. So it's not quite as clinical as I'd want, but um, this is going to be a hobby. So we'll run with what you've got, tyres. Um, so we'll swap them now to some equally as bad, but slightly better, and um, see if we can improve the times again. Pit crew is, well, we've got one loyal supporter. The other one's gone to do a bit of work by the looks of it, gone to chase some sheep, so. Just me and you, kid. So I'll show you around the cart a bit, just so you know what it is. I mean, to be fair, I haven't really got much of a clue either, so hop on and, and go. So yeah, Tony Cat uh, chassis, uh, TMK Z10B motor. Uh, obviously that means it's got uh, gears like you would in a drive car, so one down, five up, a bit like a motorbike. Um, yeah, look at this for an exhaust. Impressive. Yeah. Water pump down there, drives off the axle. Two pop brakes on the back. Huge rad here, obviously with blanking here for uh, colder days, obviously we're Hot day today, so we want it as, as getting as much air as we can. Four pop brakes on the front, both sides. Brake bias adjuster there. Lap timer. Uh, yeah, not really sure how that works, but don't worry about that too much. 
clutch here. It's a bit like a motorbike, really. Same thing again. Yeah, Tony Cat, plastics and graphics, all the bells and whistles, and a shit driver. One of the clever few things you can do to adjust, so um, you can adjust the height of the rear axle, which obviously drops the chassis up and down. You can adjust these out or in, depending on what setup. Again, we've got a rear sprocket down there, so you can change that. I think for here, we're running too high a geared, really. That they don't like uh, small tracks and tight and twisty, but I mean, it gives you the same feel anyway. Um, and then on the front, camber and caster adjustment. Um, yeah, change the pins round to give you a camber and caster. And also you can change the, the bar here as well to different type and different uh, different way around. Um, also there's a place for a, for a bar at the back that we don't really run. So um, for me, I just get in and drive it. I'm not here to set any records, just to get my driving in check and get get everything working nice and smoothly. So yeah, endless possibilities. Um, there's probably a lot more. I'm just talking rubbish of what I know. So um, yeah, don't judge me, please. I haven't really got a clue. I just get in and drive it and have fun. Oh, lunch has arrived. <laughs> my driving excuse the hair blimey jesus so Rodri fancies a go see if he can beat my time um be interesting to see how he gets on he's not a bad driver so we'll see if he gets settled in or not so stopwatch is on and uh we'll see what happens so 32 8 for me so we'll see uh we'll see what he can do three laps and uh see what what time he can string together Not bad. Good effort. Fair play. I'll give him that. So, good day out. Really enjoy myself. Um, I must admit, I've got a lot of respect for these guys who drive these things on a regular basis. Their bodies must be able to take some punishment. Jesus, I'm not cut out for this stuff. So, yeah, a lot of respect for them. But, um, yeah, good day out. Um, smooth my driving out a bit, ironed out a few niggles, little silly things that we're just doing, you know. Um, you know, having a, a long break, sort of you pick up a lot of bad habits, trying to get back into it and jumping back into a, a proper car. Um, I was very frantic, so I've managed to slow it down, get everything smoothed up and uh, hopefully be a bit more efficient with the car in Latvia. So, yeah, had a good day. Uh, time to give this a bit of a clean and re-prep and... Have a go another day once my ribs have had a, 
<laughs> a bit of a rest. So um, yeah, good day and uh, on to that beer.